One ten minute round of jujitsu. Philip Rowe, Mike Biggie Rhodes. One thing to note here, it's interesting. Mike Rhodes wearing a rash guard, Philip Rowe not wearing the rash guard. I've seen that before in grappling contests where uh, a fighter won't wear a rash guard and that actually allows them to get away sometimes when their opponent has hooks on them. Uh, it, it's less friction for them to grab a hold However, of. However, I don't know if it's gonna play that much of an effect here on this canvas. Sure. Because it'll, it'll wipe some of the sweat off. So he'll still be, I don't think it'll have as much of an effect that, with that. Um, this guy's getting after it right away, clinching up. Sometimes uh, you have more of a feeling out process, but uh, content to clinch earlier, both these men. Yeah, I, you know, they're just feeling each other, seeing how strong each other, you know, seeing who's stronger in that type of situation. But um, I expect it to, at moments, be kind of slow. I mean, I think these guys are going to try to utilize. Uh oh. Philip Rowe, got to worry about neck that neck. He's threatening the neck. This also, be dangerous up against the. Nicely done by Rowe, able to survive that. You mentioned the, the corner there. That's not something you yeah. get all that often in a grappling match to, to utilize. Yeah, and yeah. And, but the fact that he was able to get his hips outside of the ropes is what saved him in that choke. Yeah, Philip Rowe feeling the, the size of Biggie Rhodes, trying to inside trip, just can't get Biggie Rhodes off balance. Look at the body types of these two men. They're, they're built very different from one another. Rowe, very long and lengthy where Biggie Rhodes, more solid. I don't want to call the man stocky, but he nah, has that. No, nah, he, he's solid. Nice takedown there by Mike Biggie Rhodes, now inside. Yeah, and that was a beautiful throw, a beautiful trip, and he's going to end up in, which put him in side control, which gives him a, a big advantage here, especially being the bigger guy. He was able to get away from those legs automatically, and, you know. And but, okay, so now, uh, Philip Rowe puts himself a half guard, which is what he needed to do. And now, now his legs, and I, like I said, his length will come into play for, at this point on. Eight minutes remaining in the round. Now that it's a, a jujitsu match, no judges involved here. Should it go the full ten minutes, we'll have a draw. There's no real advantage or disadvantage, per se, in, in position in a match like this. You're, no. you're not trying to impress the judges. You're just trying to do your best to show off your skills and, and grab a uh, submission if one presents itself. Yeah. Deep half now here for Philip Rowe. Now, Philip Rowe trains with some really good guys. He trains with Jacare Souza and Rodolfo Vieira, world champions. But that's also from an MMA perspective, right. so it's a little bit different. But he, he has felt the type of pressure that Biggie Rhodes is going to give him. And Jacques Ray Souza, one of the heavier guys. Straight knee bar attempt here for Mike Biggie Rhodes. Hard to see where that knee is of Philip Rowe. It's a, it's a little, it's obviously affecting him a little bit. You see Philip Rowe's face, but it's not fully deep enough to, to I think, to finish. Rowe has a hold of that left foot of Rhodes and able to get clear. But it obviously doesn't surprise me for one of these gentlemen to go for a leg lock because it's kind of the easiest attack to finish a fight, especially when you're dealing with no points or no winner if it does go the entire time. Close guard here for Philip Rowe. Trying to grab a hold of the back of the neck is Rowe. He bails on it, has that arm maybe locked up, but still close guard. Look like Rose maybe trying to f angle off to the side. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's going to be, again, and this is where I think the size advantage of Biggie Rose plays an effect because it's hard to get him off balance. Right. You know, you know, and, and Rowe has to have some tricks up his sleeve to try to get him off balance. It looks like he's working a triangle. But to off balance Biggie Rose is going to be very difficult because he is very aware of what's going on. Not only just big, but he's very aware of what's going on. And that triangle position, while you can go for the triangle, it does open up some other opportunities. A uh, fighter trying to defend against a triangle might find themselves vulnerable to an arm bar or maybe switch into an omoplata. And another thing here in this position, I think, Dean, is while Philip Rowe is going for a submission, if he doesn't get the submission, there's also other victories there and maybe inducing a scramble and, and getting you know into a better position. Yeah, but, you know, and that's just going to come down to what his, again, when we talk about game plans and strategies, it's really going to come down to what he had in mind early, you know, going into this match. Right. You know, where did he think he had the advantage in this fight? Um, 
I don't know if he expected to be on top or on bottom, but, you know, I thought he would be on bottom, so he has to have some sort of game plan. Ooh, Kamora may be upcoming here for Rhodes. He's in that half guard, though. It's interesting that he's really trying to clear the legs before he actually gets a hold of that Kimura. Yeah, he lost to Kimura. Okay, so now, you know, now with less than five minutes left, I'm not sure if they're aware of that, but I think that, you know, with less than five minutes left, I think the burden is on Phillip Rowe to really start attacking. I mean, even though he's, you know, it's going to go to a decision, but... You know, I think the burden is on him to start attacking. He's got more ground to catch up on. It's going to be harder for him to get something going than it is for Biggie being on top. Restart in the middle of the ring. Wizard here now employed. Bro trying to get back to his feet, but now it's rolled out upon. Got to protect that neck. Half guard. Yeah, Biggie pretty content with what he's done so far. I mean, he could still, don't get me wrong, he can afford to take some chances himself, but, but I think he's pretty content with being in control here and staying on top and not allowing and not making many mistakes. He's not making mistakes, not taking many chances, but he's not making any mistakes. Rowe trying to get a sweep here in this deep half. Three and a half minutes remain here in this one 10 minute round. TJ DeSantis, Dean Thomas, tonight here for Dean Tool Promotions, Pensacola Bay Center in Pensacola, Florida. And our main event, Jorge Masvidal takes on Anthony Showtime Pettis. Yeah. Biggie gets to the mount. See what Rhodes is able to do with this mount. You see Rowe protecting his arms. <laughs> Laughing a little bit is Rowe. Yeah, I mean, these guys are just having fun. I mean, right. you could tell, like, even when they first came out, they slapped high fives. They're just having a good time. It's a gentle art. You can have a conversation when you do it. Rowe gets back to his feet. Comes off the ropes. <laughs> Tries to shoot a double. <laughs> what All is in good fun. fun. All in good fun. fun. Clinched up now. Rowe put into the corner. Rowe trying to pummel in. Two men disengaged, now back at space. Biggie Rhodes feigning a takedown. Biggie with a nice little um, throw by to the single leg, snatch single. Rhodes done this a few times where he tries to get a two on one on that right arm of Rhodes. What's he looking for there, Dean? When, when B, well, he's just trying to just, you know, the thing is, especially when you're dealing with somebody bigger, you have to try to isolate as much as you can. You want to isolate the smaller parts of a person. And no one that he's, just, you know, he's undersized here, so he's just trying to isolate at least one of Biggie's arms and seeing if he can control that. Because he can't go to him face head on. He's trying to isolate the arm, maybe create an angle. But again, I think, you know, not only is Biggie uh, bigger, but I think he's, he might be even a little bit better in terms of skill. Biggie's a black belt, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're better, but I think he might actually even be a little bit better in, in terms of skill-wise. Final minute left for these athletes to work. Rowe able to get a takedown, lands inside. It's the first time we've seen Rowe really in control in top position. And that was more of a failed throw. But Rowe did a good job of taking advantage of it. And again, his length, the fact that he is so long, he was able to sprawl out and not allow Biggie to roll him. Biggie looked like he wanted to roll him, but Rowe, as long as he was, was able to sprawl his legs out and uh, maintain position. Neon Belly trying to get the mount, and uh, Biggie Rowe's able to adjust. He's in top position now, less than 30 remain.
Again, it looks like uh, 20 seconds left. Looks somebody's going for a leg here, seeing if he can try to secure it, but doesn't look like it's going to happen. Rowe wisely crossing his legs here now. Dying seconds of the match. Uh -oh. Biggie Rowe trying to get. That could be, that could be dangerous. And that's yeah. a wrap. Philip Rowe was in some trouble there at the latter part of the match. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for these two gentlemen inside the rig tonight? After 10 minutes, <laughs> after 10 minutes, man, we go to a draw. So let's hear for both these guys.